And to more news, the federal government has been urged to pay attention to the internally displaced persons' IDPs, especially the females at the IDP camps across Nigeria. About Researchers at the University of Lagos unilaterally made the appeal after conducting a research on internal displacement and reproductive health challenges in Benue and in Benue in Kaduna State, analyzing the results of the study conducted Thursday in Unilag, these experts say more needs to be done than just feeding the IDPs. About 10% in Benue, or approximately 11%, had been involved in transactional sex, and we measured transactional sex by simply asking them if they had exchanged sex either for food. Uh, for shelter, for clothing, or for any other service. Um, but there is a little contrast to that. In uh, Kaduna, it's just 1% that responded in the affirmative to that uh, question. Uh, we also documented that 29% had been pregnant uh, since their displacement which means that uh, this one's... Uh, the essence of research is to impact reality and right now the global world is wrong in development parlance based on the SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. So we wanted to know how does this research impact policy on Sustainable Development Goals and we found out that SDG 3 which talks about ensuring healthy lives and well-being for all ages is impacted because sexual and reproductive health of IDPs. Yeah, the study was conducted in two states of Nigeria, Benue State from, geo, from North Central Geopolitical Zone and uh, Kaduna State from Northwest uh, Zone. These two states were actually selected purposely because of the high number of internally displaced persons in their states compared to other states within their regions. And this study is actually a cross-sectional study that adopted a combination of quantitative and qualitative methods. For the quantitative method, we use survey method. So for the age distribution of respondents, we have a kind of um, variation between the two states, Benue State and um, Kaduna State. Um, for the age variation for, um, for Benue State, um, most of them is kind of similar to some extent. Most of them are between the age of 32 and um, 40, 40 plus years. Then we have a um, main age, we have a main age in Benue State to be um, 38 years. Then the main age for Kaduna State, we have 35 years. Then, averagely for the both of them, we are. These scholars, the government needs to be swift to avoid a future crisis with emphasis that it is the right of the internally displaced persons to be healthy. Uh, the issue of child, uh, child abuse, the issue of child, uh, child marriage, the issue of child violence, the issue of sexual abuse are illegal. And the Nigerian state should rise up to its responsibility to make sure that these people, these vulnerable people, are protected. They are, should be our first charge. We cannot continue to fold our hands. And the ordinary people there, we cannot equally, if you say it does not concern us, one day to come to us. And the way things are going, it, anybody could be in their position tomorrow. Country. Why are we doing, what is this man doing? That we don't have until I went for one conference. But now is our reality. And daily is closing in on us. We can see the level it has gotten to people are even scared. And so we pray that we don't have many more displaced persons. And their plight is worth looking into. And I'm happy that our colleagues talked about them because they are the socially excluded. Usually people don't